happens when you lose a bet, or when you say this is, at least this is what you end up. Hey, at least I'm warm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very warm and comfortable here. In my, okay. A little review. Last last time we talked about soil layers, the different types of uh, soil layers, of soil, soil horizons, and we went through the different soil horizons. Hold on. You should sing the soil song in the snuggie. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. No. Sir. Y'all would love to see that. I can't. This is the sleep. It would get in the way. I'd be all right. The mud light right. <laughs> would get in the way. So remember, the O horizon is that decayed layer of. Uh, of, of plant and animal debris at the surface, especially in poor soil. Sometimes it can be very thick, other times it can be just a very thin layer. Sometimes it's not there at all, depending on the type of type of environment that you're in. Remember the A horizon? Y'all remember this is just a review. Topsoil, the A horizon, then it goes to E, B, C, and R being the bedrock. Y'all have okay. this already diagrammed, right? Yes. Right. I okay. just thought that O was the last one and I couldn't find it. But no, O is the very first one. Okay. We talked about uh, what soil is, depending on who who answers it. We talked about the soil cycles, soil texture, chemical properties. Okay, this is kind of where, where we'll start from uh, from the beginning, and that's good on that. I think we have sufficient evidence that I have indeed taught in a snuggie. <laughs>